Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Neymar. And the match is underway. Rodrigo de Paul. Can he finish? A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Corner kick played in. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover up. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. And a short corner, let's see. Di Maria. Otamendi. Now with Martinez. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Rafinha. And Neymar. And with that, the attack fizzles out. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1930, 1990 and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Ticker tape in Buenos Aires. The kickoff delayed because one of the Netherlands players had a cast on his arm. Mario Kempes, brilliant player. Ozzy Ardiles, that was Argentina at their best. Can they reproduce that sort of form here today? I think they can. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. But he's certainly not alone. Well, it wasn't a taxing save.
Molina De Paul Martinez well, it was a menacing attack but tidied up well there you have it in terms of possession there's not much in it it really has been a hard fought battle so far one of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two he read the situation defensively and did his job Martinez well, they keep working away looking for passing lanes Good work from Brazil to win the ball back. Danilo. And still looking for space. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Paqueta. Well read to put an end to that attack. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. An attack full of promise. Paredes. Really vital interception. Vinicius. Now with Neymar. Oh, great defending. Rodrigo de Paul. And do they mean business on this occasion? Martinez. Well, the supporters think it's on. Able to get a body in the way. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. It's a short corner. Messi. Marcos Acuna. Now with Martinez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Martinez! Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Contest 1 1. Now. 
Neymar. Vinicius Junior. Difficult to stop him, but they took care of the situation defensively. Breaking at pace. Can they take advantage of the situation? Read it well. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Promising looking ball. Vinicius. Given away by Brazil. Casemiro. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Vinicius Jr. Must take the lead here. Great save to keep us even. Well, it's a fantastic stop and so important at this stage of the game. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And he's fired over the corner. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Good technique displayed. That's excellent defending following the cross. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Crossing possibilities. Lionel Messi. Timely intervention. Jesus. Good work from Argentina to win it back. Marcos Acuna. And it's with Rodriguez. De Paul. The ball with Martinez. Now well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. And a tidy tackle. He has teammates around him. Neymar. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. De Paul. Tagliafico. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Gabriel Jesus. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Lo Celso. Marcos Acuna. Just the challenge that was required. Well, a fantastic final. And it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout.
this will test the mentality of any footballer. And there it is, perfectly executed. And he's denied them from the spot. Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. And confidently converted. And he steps up to take the shot. And the keeper denies them from the spot. So lethal in front of goal. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Superb placement there. He might be wishing that hadn't been his plan of attack. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.